Have you ever wondered how the pros do it? Today, I'm breaking down the secrets behind how the pros edit for stunning portraits in Photoshop. If you are a beginner or a pro and you're struggling with retouching in Photoshop, then this video is purposely made for you. So grab your mouse and your styluses, open up Photoshop on your computers, and let's retouch this image together. My name is Ecordedia, by the way. Hit the subscribe and like buttons for me, please. Now, let's start editing. So I downloaded this image from Dirty Studio Online. I'm going to leave the link to it in the description box below so that you can download it and try your hand on. All right, so first off, we're going to duplicate the background layer twice by pressing Ctrl and J, twice like this. And then we're going to name this color and then name the second one texture. And then we're going to hide the first layer, the texture layer, and then we select the color layer. Now we're going to come to filter blur gaussian blur and we're gonna change this to 3 points 3.7 3.6 is okay we select okay and we're gonna select the texture layer make it visible then we come to image apply image we're gonna set the color uh, we're gonna set the layer to color and then the channel at rgb the blending to subtract and then we're gonna change the scale to two and then the offset at 128 the opacity at 100 then we're gonna select okay and then we're gonna come to the texture layer come to the blend mode and then change it to linear light as you can see our image is back to how it was before let me zoom out so that i can check it out well yeah this is what we're having now so we're gonna group this texture and then the color layer into one group so we're gonna hold Control and then select the color layer together and then we're going to press Control and then G to put it in a group so now we're going to change this the name of this group to frequency separation yeah if you want this action I have it in my online store you can check it out and then download it it's created for you automatically just one click and then everything will be created for you straight to the point all right so now let's get into our group let's open it we select the color layer I'm going to zoom in to her face as you can see so we're gonna attempt to smooth in her face and then get all remove all this um, textures from her face and then make the face smooth all right so we're gonna select the mixer brush to like this and this is settings I'm gonna to use today always make sure this ones are set to this I'm using the soft round brush make sure this is set to clean brush make sure this is unchecked make sure this is checked set this to custom my width is at 19%, my load is at 16%, and my mix is at 31%. My flow is at 48%, and this is set to 10%. All right, so make sure all this is set to this to get this effect. Otherwise, you're going to get something else, all right? So with the color layer selected, and then with my mixer brush to select it, we're going to start and then smoothing the skin, all right? So I'm going to increase the brush size by pressing my close bracket key to increase let me zoom in a little bit yeah like this is okay and i'm just gonna start brushing so gently gently brush my face make sure you're mixing the, the colors i'm using my tablet to do this yeah if you're using the mouse maybe the settings might affect you a little bit more different yeah the tablet is more intense than the mouse so um i'll suggest maybe you increase the width if you're using the mouse to get the effects more yeah all right so you're just gonna keep brushing on the forehead make sure you're mixing the colors in gently not too much as gently make sure if you're brushing on the highlights you're brushing only on the highlights if you're brushing on it mid tones make sure i brush only on the mid tones so now i'm just gonna go in and then slowly brush mix the colors together make sure the color layer is selected always make sure the color layer is selected so we're gonna brush keep brushing gently all right so, and then most the bridge of her nose as well we have some highlights going on over here so we're gonna just 
take your time and then just brush it in. This technique is mm, it's kind of it's straight to the point so it gives you more control over what you're doing. That's basically what retention is. You have to make sure you're controlling everything on your own. You can use the AI to um, also get some smooth skin effects. That is if you're in a hurry, but if you want to have manual control over everything you're doing, then I'll suggest you just use this technique to do it. It's simple once you get used to it. So you just keep brushing, you take your time and then just keep sculpting the nose. <laughs> it's a little bit delicate right here so you're just going to take your time and then make sure you are sculpting the nose nicely else you're going to create something else. <laughs> it's not going to look real and it's not going to look that appealing or nice so I advise you always take your time when you're doing this. Alright, so I'm going to speed this side up a little bit. I'm sure by now you've gotten the idea of what exactly I'm doing. So I'm going to speed this side up a little bit so that our video won't be too long. Yeah, so I'll be right back. Alright, so we are Nick now. So you're just gonna take your time as I said earlier and then just keep brushing gently, not uh, don't rush, just take your time and then just brush it. Alright, so we're finished, we're gonna zoom out and then just check how our image is looking. Let me zoom in a little bit more and then, yeah, let's consider some more work to do. So I'm just gonna focus on that and then just make sure everything is looking nice and even. So let me just finish up this side. This is actually a natural light image. I love. I love editing natural light images because I don't know, it has this feel to it that I really love. Just smoothing the skin in gently. Okay, so that side is okay. So now let's come to the face. So we have some. Um, I know how, how the makeup artist call it, I think eyeshadow or something here. Yeah. So I'm going to try and then just blend the colors in to make it look more nicer. I'm just going to take my time. Let's brush everything in. Yeah, this side as well. Let me zoom out. Let me check how we're looking. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. So there's a little bit more stuff over here that I feel like if you're doing it, it's going to be better. So I'm just going to go ahead and then just. At first, as you, um, I don't know if you realize, but then I was zoomed in very much, but then I've zoomed out a little bit more and I'm brushing. This will make you see um, the inc inconsistent tones of the image and then you just try to fix them. That is one tip that I normally use to get a much smoother image when I'm retouching. 
because when you're zoomed in, you're not going to see the effect you are, you are getting fully, right? Because you are focused on just one side of the image. But when you zoom out, you're able to see a large portion. And then you see some of the mistakes or some of the things that you are doing that isn't making the image look so nice. And then you just try to fix it. So what I normally do is I increase the brush size and then I just brush them in and then just make it look much better. Let me just try and fix the forehead. Because this the color right here is looking a little bit off and different which isn't that appealing to me. So I'm just gonna try and then just blend the hair in a little bit more. Let's try and bring some of the dark colors in the hair in. Let me zoom out. Yeah. We're getting there, we're getting, we're getting there. We're not fully there yet, but then we're getting there. Just trying to make everything look as natural as possible. So let's zoom into her lips and try and fix. I'm just gonna keep brushing on the highlights, just moving things up over here. Yeah, so I'm gonna zoom out. Yeah, her lips are looking nice as well. Let's check the before and after. This is the before, and then this is the after. This is the before, and then the after. You can see great difference in our image. All right, so um, let me zoom in, and then let's try and then remove some textures from her face, from her nose, and then think her lips. So we're gonna use a spot healing brush tool to do this. So it's already selected. I just selected it. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more, and then just brush off the unwanted textures of the image. So as I said in my previous video, just try and then take your time when you're doing this. And then don't don't just remove all the textures from it. Make sure you're removing, but then you are keeping the image as natural as possible as well. Let me zoom out. Right, so this is how the lip is looking now. Let me see the before and after. The before and this the after. So yeah, it's looking much better. So now let me proceed. Let's proceed and then remove some of the textures from her face, her chin. Let me zoom out. Yeah, I think this is okay. So we're gonna go to her nose. Mm, to her cheek as well. Just remove, keep me removing. Let's zoom out and see. As you can see, our image is looking very nice, yeah. So now let's come to her nose and then just try and then remove some of the textures on her nose as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, if you find this video helpful, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching to this far. You can also drop any problems they are facing or anything you'd like me to help you with in the comment section and I will attend to you. Mm, let's zoom out and check. Yeah, this is what we're getting. As you can see, our image is looking very, 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 very nice. Now let me zoom out. This is the effect we're having right now. As you can see, our image is looking much better. It's looking great. So from here, I'm going to proceed to 
whites in the eyes, and then I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my color grading and everything, and then that'll be great. So um maybe I'll do a video and show you how I do my color grading as well. So this video is just show you the techniques that helps you in getting smooth skin. And yeah, try and watch the next video over here. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now.